Yo, yo, Josh, yo. We are up here in Whistler, Canada, and we're doing a little quick episode on time code and how you can get your little mirrorless camera banging out some time code. And you guys can compete with $15,000 production cameras. Kind of. You guys probably heard of it, you probably don't really know what it is. Maybe you do know what it is. Maybe you have a Canon C300 Mark II and you're like, this guy's a moron. I am a moron. Let's jump into it. How do you explain time code? It's All right, so you have a six person shoot, it's a wedding or it's a sporting event. You have six cameras, they're all pointing at different angles and you could sync them up each time manually with a slate or you can just marry their time code and sync them up once. The other use for time code is you book a big job, network television, and they're like, great, bring your camera and make sure you have time code on it. What is time code? Ah and your head explodes. See that running clock? This is what time code is, broken down by hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. That runs itself on your camera and embeds it into the metadata. Don't wanna be explaining time code. You know what? No, I'm excited. Time code is super rad because nobody really knows about it, but if you can use it, you can get some much better paying jobs like network television jobs because all of their cameras run time code. Generally, a sound guy is gonna have time code. They'll have it on their little mixer board and they'll be blasting it out and you'll never even know it. The reason why network television uses this is because the writers will ask for the interviews or whatever the recording to be transcribed, read through the text, circle the good parts and have an exact time code so they can pass that along to the editors. It's a complete way to streamline your whole editing process and it's been around for years. You guys get what time code is, right? Most prosumer cameras are gonna have time codes. Even my little Sony action cameras have time code. It's super easy to use, so let's jump right in there, sync them all up. All right, so let's go to menu. Let's go to a little briefcase thing. I don't know what that's called. On the Sony a7R III, it's under the third menu setting. Time code UB settings. Okay, so first up, let's change this over to time code. Next, time code preset. This is what you want your time of day to be. So you would essentially marry all of your cameras with this same number. UB preset. UB preset is basically a way that you can number your cameras. You can install more information in the metadata. So you could say this is camera one, that's camera two, that's camera three or whatever. I don't use it, but I suppose if you're working on a documentary and you needed all of this information, that's what UB preset is for. It's user bit data. All right, let's get the fuck out of this menu. So if you're shooting at 23 or 24, you're not gonna have this option of uh, DF or NDF. DF is, stands for drop frame. NDF stands for non-drop frame. If you're shooting network television, you're gonna be shooting at 29 drop frame. Next, let's go to time code run. You want it on free run. Now there's actually two batteries in the camera. You have the regular battery and then you have the clock battery in there. Time code is gonna be running on your clock battery. So if you swap batteries, time code doesn't need to be reset. It'll continue running. Next, time code make. You want this on preset. UB record time, that is off. Unless of course you're using user bits, which I don't use. So you're doing this live event, you have four videographers all shooting different directions. What you can do, you can manually preset, adjust the clock to your time of day, and then hit enter at the same time. And you go to sync it up in post, you line them up by time code in your timeline. You just move them over however many frames or seconds until they're all on. And then you can multi-cam edit. Dave Dugdale did an episode where he had a little Sony remote where you could hit enter on both of them. So that's one workaround. He still said that it was off by a frame anyway, so you'd have to sync it up later. There is an alternative way to have time code on your camera, and that's by adding one of these little guys right here, which is a nano locket. In a nutshell, these are like five or six hundred dollars for a set of these they plug into the camera and you can jam sync that way if that sounds interesting to you guys i'll do an episode on that Whew. 
All right, it wasn't that hard. If you can master time code, you can get bigger production jobs. You can be a more rounded filmmaker or commercial shooter or wedding videographer if you have that figured out. If you get a bigger job with the sound guy, you're gonna need to know what time code is. So you might as well take that plunge now, unlock that menu in your camera and get to work. Anyway, this is Josh Yo saying thank you very much. Stay creative. Now go unlock some time code. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not hit the like button. Don't subscribe. If you guys found this useful, do not subscribe. Just give me the middle finger and yeah.